Welcome everyone in class number 3 of course on C++ programming where we are going to learn about the variables and constants. So let's start. Variables are actually the containers for storing data values. Likewise in mathematics we have different variables in the equation. In a similar way those variables can be used in a C++ program as well. Before I tell you more about variables, let me write down the lines that are mostly common in a C++ program. So this is the place where we can start declaring variables. So to declare the variables, first we need to write the data type. Now there are different data types are there and we will be having a complete video on the data types but right now I am going to use only a single data type which is an integers. As we all know that integers are the whole numbers with negative values or positive values but also include the zero. So the declaration of integers are done with the help of i and t symbol. After that we can name the variable and those are being called as identifiers. Let's say that we are naming the variable as x. Now once we have named that variable, we can give the value to it. Let's say I am giving the value of 5 to this x. So then I will write as x is equal to 5 and then the semicolon. Now in order to print out the value of x, we need to write c out along with insertion operators. Then I need to write the variable which is x. In this case so x and then the semicolon so after writing this click on the build and run and let's see what uh, this program will uh, give the output and uh, here you can see that it's giving the value of x as 5 since we have inserted the value of x as 5 so 5 is the output of this program let me tell you again that uh, whatever we are writing in this line after the insertion operators along with cout this will be the output since we have already given the value of x is equal to 5 so that's why the output is 5 there is another way through which we can uh, give any value to the variable that is first we are declaring the variable and that uh, variable is x and then we are saying that uh, the value of x is 5 keeping in mind that we always have semicolon at the end of each line in the main function so let's see that what we are going to have again you can see that the output is still 5 so this is another way through which we can do we can also change the value of x initially let's say the value of uh, x is 5 and then i'm changing its value to 10 so i can write it this way initially the value of x is 5 and then i'm changing its value to 10 and then I am saying print the value of x so now you can see instead of 5 it's 10 now that value has been changed so this is one of the way to change the value of the variable also we can declare multiple variables like uh, the value of x is 5 and uh, whenever we are declaring the multiple variables so that will be done with the help of comma symbol and then we can declare another variable like y is equal to 6 and uh, let's say we have third variable as well z is equal to 7 and then i am asking the program to add the value of x plus y plus z so x y plus z now this will be the output of this program so let's see whether this program will give us the value of year addition or not so adding these three will give us 18 let's see yes we are getting 18 so we can use these three variables in any way you want we can also do in this way like declaring the variable first and then giving them the values let's say all three are equal x is equal to y is equal to z and that is equal to 10 now let's see what would be the answer obviously adding the three variables and each of them are equal to 10 so obviously the answer should be 30 so let's see whether we are going to have the output as 30 yes it is so through this way we can declare multiple variables so this is all about the variables now let's discuss about the constants as the name suggests 
that uh, constants are something that never changes. Their value will always remain same. So constants are identified with the help of uh, CONST command. Then let's say that we are declaring an integer x equal to 5. So it means its value will remain constant and no one can change it. Let's say if I am changing its value to 10 then let's see what is the output. So you can see the error has been identified and error is saying that assignment of read only variable x. So this is a read only variable. It means its value is 5 and this will not going to change this will remain same like we have some constants in our daily life that never changes like mints in r so those are 60 and uh, as we always know that that they are not going to change so if i'm declaring this same variable so i'm going to have the value of 60 and that's it similarly there are some other constants are also there like the value of pi so they are not going to change so if you don't want to change the value of any variable then you can use this constant command so this is all from this video where we have learned about the variables and constants i hope you are understanding the concepts of the c programming if you have any question then you can contact me through the email given in the description thank you for watching this video